Hey everybody, it is Leland the Realtor and today we're going to talk about everything going wrong in a real estate transaction. What can you do about it? What can't you do about it? And who is responsible? Well, I have been fortunate enough to go through quite a few transactions that I have probably come across, not everything, but a whole lot of things that just seem to go wrong. Some people it's way worse than others. Here is what everything ultimately boils down to. It is usually the buyer who is having the problems and not normally the seller, but if the buyer is getting an inspection and everything is terrible and maybe the seller agreed to it and then didn't actually do the repairs or maybe the buyer said they were going to close on a certain day and their financing isn't going through and you as a seller are stuck with your house off the market waiting for a buyer to close and maybe it's been one two three four weeks and they are just not closing what is it that you can do? Why are all these things going wrong? And what can you do about it? Well, ultimately it comes down to decisions. In every single contract, it is written that it is possible to default on the contract. What is a default? It just means that in the contract or the written agreement that you have between you know, a buyer and a seller, the default is either the buyer falling through on the agreement and not doing what they said, or the seller falling through on the agreement and not doing what they said they would do. So if someone defaults on an agreement, you as a buyer or a seller need to make a decision. You can make the decision to terminate the purchase agreement and move on and maybe move on to the next buyer or the next home. You can choose to move forward with the transaction and just let bygones be bygones and just buy or sell your home or be patient or you can consult a professional. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to consult your realtor before you do any of these things, but ultimately items that get bad enough or maybe relationships that are being torn apart enough could potentially result in some sort of litigation. So this is when attorneys start to enter the picture. So it is important to have an attorney that maybe you already know or a point of contact that you can make so that you can be prepared for anything that goes wrong in a purchase agreement because i can pretty much promise you that it's more common that i would like to admit that either a buyer or a seller is not willing or innocently not able to perform on that contract exactly as they said in the end it's very important to be reasonable and as understanding as possible but there has to be a line that you draw in the sand that says no we are not doing this and we need to hold firm always consult a professional with these things but i promise you it is completely worth your time to try to understand what happens when things go wrong because contracts are only as long as they are because so many things have gone wrong in real estate contracts because it used to be a one page little quick signature okay i'm gonna buy a house and now it is a 16 page behemoth with tons of addendums and amendments and information sheets and it just it's it's gigantic now because of the number of things that have gone wrong so if you found this information useful, please share it with your family and friends. I am Leland, the realtor, keeping real estate simple. Have a wonderful day.